You know those moments when it literally feels like it is going to take everything in your power to keep yourself from shaking someone? Because, well, the only valid explanation as to why they can't see what's happening right in front of them must be due to their being asleep. So perhaps with a good shaking, it'll wake their ass up, see what's happening here. But well, unfortunately, there are instances where you can shake them, shock them, or tape their eyelids open, and they are not going to open their eyes in the sense that they recognize this is important versus a distress distraction that their brain is trying to drown out. Kind of like why we don't go around staring at our noses all day, even though it is totally within our field of vision and with conscious effort can completely see it. But otherwise, it's like it's not even there. This phenomenon, unfortunately, only makes it that much harder for the survivors of narcissistic abuse to even recognize that they're being abused for far too long. Because well, anyone who has ever dealt with one of these little fuckers knows damn well just how persistent and ruthless they are in maintaining this delusion of superiority. Always having to be right, constantly one-upping you, drilling it into your brain that you need them and would never survive without them. Everything they do comes from this look at me, look at me, here I am, look at me, way of thinking, to a degree of it attracting your focus versus drowning it out. Be like that of trying to sleep while someone was jackhammering the cemented floor in your basement. Ain't no way in hell even young Helen Keller would be able to drown out that bad boy. And this phenomenon doesn't just help narcissists maintain control of their victims, but it also aids in the difficulty of others believing you when you try explaining this bloody nightmare of a creature who's so twistedly demonic, spineless, and soulless, when all they ever see is this mirage of their there being some kind of diamond in the rough due to narcissists having their neck down and perfecting just exactly when they need to don their impeccable human mask. So most never partake witness or ever see the wicked mangled disaster that lies underneath. You know that and the fact that anyone with an ounce of empathy or a shred of regard to how others feel can truly comprehend how any human being could be so vehemently vengeful and hurtful to another intentionally. This phenomenon also plays a huge role in how narcissists successfully manage to pull off, getting away with their malevolent chaos and by default, in theory, making all of us essentially enabling them to one degree or another. And it was within this that really became both a slap in the face and major eye opener this past weekend as I was trying to put my finger on the root cause of what exactly it was, far more than just pluck a nerve, as I was well beyond repugnantly appalled in the way everything unfolded and in the manner to which my children and I received the news about how their fathers continued wickedness had bought himself the privilege of rocking an orange jumpsuit. That, for one, how truly and vitally important it is to get information and raw truth about the monsters that these individuals truly are out there to educate others with. And for two, when I realized that the root cause and what was really nagging me with infuriating disgust was just how ineffable the weight of narcissist enablers plays in their twisted game to remain in continuous play. And that there is one type of enabler that may be truly worse in the overall effect that this at large has on society, as these individuals are literally their power cord, backup generator, cleanup crew, bodyguard, bullshit enforcer, data collector, and cheerleader, all wrapped into one kitten caboodle. And though enabling in any form is most certainly not helpful to stop narcissistic abuse or keeping them from continuously getting away with their heinous acts any more than it does in any other form of abuse, addiction, or circumstance for that matter. But it's one thing to enable someone when you truly don't even recognize that that is in fact what you're doing, which tends to be the vast majority of us due to the narcissist brain fucking you to the point that you cannot even think straight or see a logical solution to put your finger on if the explanation was stapled to your forehead, have depleted your confidence, diminished your self-esteem, and gaslit you into doubting your own judgment, being trauma bonded, as well as our selective attention wants to prevent us from seeing what is happening here because, well, the reality is going to suck 
balls. But thankfully, as far as this type of enabling goes, once you are able to pick up on what is happening and have accepted that it is what it is, the enabling in turn stops as well as cutting them off of your supplying the fuel that they need in order to keep Fantasyland Island up and going. Then there's the type that too are unaware of their enabling and I suppose truly are only by default enabling to begin with, consisting of those who have never had to firsthand experience or deal with being psychologically challenged, tormented, and tortured by one of these deplorable meat sacks to whom their either refusal of wanting to believe that these monsters are real because, well, it's fucking terrifying or because they literally do not have the imagination to do so. Either way, it's not only understandable, but it's extremely common. However, regardless of its understandability, it is one of the biggest reasons not trying to sugarcoat the true nature of these beasts or the impact of the devastation that it brings to the survivors of narcissistic abuse is so profoundly important. Because not believing is directly proportional to why the survivors of narcissistic abuse are not being believed, it's being undermined, or it's misunderstood, which only adds to the extreme levels of pain and crazy making that these individuals have already endured and as thus permits the narcissist to carry on hurting one after the other because no one believes it. Not to mention the naivety sets you up for being extremely vulnerable to becoming the next target in line for the narcissist, which unfortunately the only way to stop this type of enabling is by trying every way possible that we can to get the general public more educated. And then there's the narcissist beloved flying monkeys who aren't always innocent and blind in their means of enabling but aren't necessarily always doing the narcissist dirty work in a way of being fully aware if at all that that is what they are doing. As most of these winged baboons are others that the narcissist has conned and manipulated into buying into their bullshit, these individuals might consist of your family and friends, mutual friends between you or their own family members and are sent in by the narcissist to aid in your destruction with abuse by proxy. The most important thing to remember about these type of enablers is that even if they don't know they are collecting dirt for the narcissist, it is still the mission that they have been assigned and what they are there for. And if you have any suspicion at all in someone, even if they were someone that you previously had trust in, do not give them what they desire. And unfortunately, the best thing to do to cut off all contact with them, at least momentarily. And lastly, there are the devoted followers of the narcissist, the kingpin of enabling, eternally supplying them the means so that their show can go on. These individuals usually consist of the narcissist relatives or next of kin and have been standing by their side their entire lives. They have firsthand witness to the beast coming unleashed and are fully aware of the hurt, the pain, and the devastation narcissist brings to others. But they choose to turn their heads and cover their ears to the impact that this in fact causes. Though they will openly discuss the wrongfulness in their behaviors and make recognition to the fact that there is most certainly some kind of issue at stake here with those that don't place impending doom in the risk of the narcissist getting exposed. But the moment they sense the threat of danger in the air, oh, how the tables will turn. They will do whatever it takes to cover up their actions and defend their lies and deter the blame onto something else. Giving credit to the narcissist smear campaigns as if they were there present in the watching of these stories that the narcissist has concocted, seeing you now only through the eyes of these lies and blame shifting tales that the narcissist has told, cleaning up after them over and over as to make certain that their master's demon remain shielded and well hidden, speaking highly about the narcissist to others and while out in public, as if they are truly the person that the narcissist alludes themselves to be, turning their backs on the ones that the narcissist has abused once they have realized that they are no longer willing to protect this dirty little secret. Not only giving credit to the narcissist's lies, but smearing your character and demeaning your name to others right along with them, allowing the narcissist to continue on with their demolition of others' sense of self and life as they once knew it. But what separates them apart from other enablers isn't just that they are fully aware of the beast that lies beneath this phony, likable human facade, it's that their devotion to protect, not due to trauma bonding, from the narcissist depleting their sense of confidence or self-esteem, not 
because having to face this reality would mean that the narcissist never loved them, but rather because admitting to the narcissist heinous acts of crimes means admitting to the blood stains that they have acquired on their own hands. It means admitting to their own dishonesty from their contribution in demeaning your character and defending the narcissist tales of their being the victim at hand and your being the monster and that shit crazy one. Admitting it means bringing shame to the name of their family. It means facing the guilt that they will inevitably have, feeling partially at fault for the narcissist beast being so beyond out of control that there ain't no way in hell that this old dog's gonna learn any new tricks. It's or not change. that they haven't yet reached this point of enough being enough. It's that they never will get to that point as they are just as devoted to the narcissist lies, bullshit, and delusion as the narcissist is. They are willing to stoop to the same level of low as the narcissist does and partake in helping them destroy others by defending these verifiable lies that become so blatantly obvious once you've caught on to what's happening, seeing to it that the narcissist is viewed as they dictated in their fabricated and distorted story to ensure that they always come out appearing to be the victim, are willing to partake in assisting them to destroy even others in their own family that aren't devoted followers to the narcissist, as well as individuals that they have known for years. Doing this not to sustain some delusion they have conjured up, and clearly not out of honor or blood being thicker than water, but more more out of selfishness and fear of what others will think if they were to ever find out they have been hand feeding these demons, helping them grow stronger, cockier, and more dangerous each insidious act that they commit and successfully get away with, unsheathed and not having to face but a single consequence for their actions. Not only does this make them quite possibly more criminal, but it makes them significantly more pathetic because they realize, though it's not exactly fun or something that we get all hopped up about doing, but that there is still a great deal of importance in having consequences for one's wrongdoings and being accountable for your bad behaviors, poor decisions, or flat out mistakes. Not only do they grasp this concept, but they apply it to themselves. Yet all bets are off when it comes to the narcissist because that would most certainly draw some attention to their family's dirty little secret. And just as the narcissist gets cockier, more evil, and their destructive behaviors becoming worse with each act that they get away with, as does the need for the devoted followers to keep this shit hidden. In the process, having a total disregard for others and what it truly does to them. And just as there is no point trying to reason with someone as unreasonable as a narcissist, it too is just as futile trying to get one of the narcissist devoted followers to open their eyes and take recognition to how the narcissist is murdering the very essence of who their victims once were, preying and hunting down their own offspring, slaughtering lifelong friendships, screwing people out of jobs, breaking laws, destroying property, and shattering the souls of others over and over and over. Because, because they never will. And will keep cleaning up the narcissist bloody mess as to not have the stains get revealed on their own hands from this bloodshed. And if there is anyone that you suspect could be one of the narcissist devoted followers, best thing to do is to cut them off entirely from your life right along with the narcissist. There ain't no rest in their wickedness until they have closed their eyes for good. And as long as you are associated with them, they are going to continue destroying you until that day comes. But you can rest assured, there is most certainly a special reservation at the lake of fire in the sky right alongside the narcissist for their devoted followers. You are worth and deserve so much more. Focus on you. Fuck the narcissist.